Hey guys, welcome back. All right, today we're gonna check out something super cool. This is the Rec Room Masters 32 inch vertical pinball cabinet. Now with pinball and arcade machines and all these kinds of things, audio is so critical to the overall experience. Well, I wasn't happy with the way the audio was on this because I was using just the TV speakers. Now, this is something you could apply to both your arcade cabinet or your pinball machine. It's a really simple mod. It's just two speakers, but the real star of the show is this Dayton Audio BST-1 Pro Tactile Bass Shaker Transducer. This thing is amazing. It'll make the whole cabinet rumble. And all you'll need is this simple 2.1 amplifier. So let's dive in and get started and check this out. All right, so we're going full on old school retro Ralph with this thing. So here's the front of the cabinet. You're not gonna see anything all that interesting here except I mounted these two pile speakers. So you're gonna see they're on these little swivel mounts. They're super easy to install and they come with all the brackets that you'd need. So if you have this particular cabinet, this could be a great solution for you. And there's one mounted on either side. And I'll have links in the description to the speakers, but they worked out really well for a cabinet like this. Now let's swing around the back because the real star here is the actual Dayton audio transducer right there. So this thing just simply screws down. You've got a couple of mounts and it actually comes, doesn't come with the screws, but it already has the holes sort of drilled in this thing. You just find a nice flat surface to put this in and it will just give you this crazy rumble. Now keep in mind, this isn't tied into the software itself. So it's really a stereo setup but every time there's a big event, like a rumble or something that would have a lot of bass, it's gonna totally, just you're gonna feel it in the whole entire cabinet. So this isn't a replacement for things like a full DOF setup, but it's really, really cool and it's not a super expensive solution to get a similar effect. I am gonna, in a version two of this video, go super crazy and we'll do the more expensive mod, which would be full on, we're gonna mount like transducers to different parts of the cabinet. So as the ball, changes on the play field, right? Here, we're gonna get, we're gonna start the game really quick. I love that this is old school, no editing required. So what we're gonna do is when the ball, if I can start the damn game, there we go, okay. So you're seeing when the ball would move its way down the play field, transducers in the back of the cabinet would actually fire at different places so that it really feels like the ball is moving down the table. So th that's a whole nother level. We are gonna do that at some point. But really, all you need for this is this Dayton Audio transducer, which I showed you right there, and then this amplifier. So this amplifier right here is all you need for this. It's just a 2.1 amplifier. The nice thing about this is you can adjust the, sorry for the lighting there, you can adjust the bass and treble on the front and then you can power it on and off here. You can adjust the volume and it's just a simple setup. You've got right and left speaker and um, a section for bass, which would be typically a subwoofer, but that's where you're connecting the transducer. And that's really all you need. You're just taking a 3.5 millimeter cable from the actual you know, back of your computer into the front of this guy. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do this. And you'll notice, I'm gonna play the game for a little while, but you'll notice that as events are happening on the table, you may not feel it as much on your end because you're not here with me, but man, it rumbles this whole entire part of the panel. So when I have my hands on here and I'm playing, I just feel every single event. So I'm gonna set up the camera so you can watch me play the game really quick, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, I'm sorry for the horrible mess in here, but let's start from the basics. This is Pinball FX3. I'm running this on Steam. Uh, please join me if you want on Steam. It's Retro Ralph so we can play some pinball together. We're gonna go into single player and you're gonna have all of the games that you've paid for in the Steam library. So I'm gonna play Marvel the Infinity Gauntlet. Now, Infinity Gauntlet. the thing that makes this whole mod special is really that transducer. And I, I've said it a million times, but you may be unfamiliar with transducers. Check this out, by the way. Listen to this. <laughs> Okay. 
So you may be unfamiliar with transducers, but if you've ever done any kind of home theater modifications, they're popular in the home theater space because you'd mount the transducer like under a couch to get that rumble effect. It's pretty cool. Movie theaters will use them. Theme parks will use them. So it's definitely a really cool thing to add to an arcade cabinet or a pinball machine. And it's a cheap modification. It's not like you have to do a whole lot. You just need the transducer itself, the amplifier, and then, you know, if you already have a right and left speaker, then you don't even really need to do that. So these games are just so much more fun with something like this, because it just, there's something to be said about the element of good audio and good sound. And I'm telling you, if you use this application, they have smaller transducers, bigger transducers. This one is the Dayton Audio one. I've also used the Aurora Bass Shaker. So you may want to check out the Aurora Bass Shaker as well. Oh, this is crazy. This game's nuts. It'll reverse the flipper and go in slow motion. <laughs> Look at the flippers are staying up. Totally wild stuff. If you've never checked out this game, definitely give it a shot. But yeah, I've checked out the Aurora Bass Shaker and then this Dayton Audio, Day Dayton Audio one. So I'll have links in the description to both of them that I've used in the past. But have fun with this. It's going to be really cool. I'm glad I got a chance to showcase this for you. And it's something I'm super, super excited about. It's kind of old school in the sense that I haven't done any mod videos in a while. So definitely something we'll be exploring a little bit more. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Definitely put your comments below. I want to hear from you. And that's it, guys. We will see you on the next one.